All right, man, so in front of me, I got a bunch of machine parts that I've got made for the portable solar generator. I've been working on a 1200 watt unit, a 1500 watt unit, and a 3000 watt unit. And I've been working with some of these plastic boxes, the Milwaukee box and the rigid box. And I'll tell you, man, they are not that easy to make them come out like, you know, pristine and everything perfect and aligned right. So uh, I tried it freehand and it was just not working out for me the best. So um, anyways, I got a buddy who's got a CNC machine. He owns a company. He makes a lot of stuff. <laughs> And uh, so I went and seen him, and we started drawing out some things, and well, he started drawing out some things, let me put it that way, because he's the AutoCAD guy, not me. And so we made some parts, and I've spent a lot of time getting these parts made. And they might look pretty simple and easy enough, but you know, to get all the, the exact measurements down to literally the millimeter, you know, I'm making bus bars for the power walls. Um, you know, these are, quarter inch aluminum, that's what I'm using on my uh, my power wall right there. These cost me a fortune to have made and, um, well, a small fortune, you know, and that's just part of tooling and when you have things made, you know, when you go to a shop and have them make you a box, for instance, uh, they charge you a lot of money up front to make that box the way you want it because they've got to put it in AutoCAD and they got to spend a lot of time, they got to set up fee. And, you know, that's how people make money and there's just no two ways about it, but all this stuff is aluminum, and some of these are just simple stencils, and others would be actual face plates, depending on what they go on. And yeah, I've been over at Jeff's for probably a, a good week solid, you know, not in a row, but you know, seven, eight nights easy till, you know, late nights, and just drawing these things out and, you know, making them fit these boxes. And it's, it's been a heck of a chore, man. I mean, this little guy right here, you know, takes a few minutes, you've got to make it, you got to make it in plastic, you got to fit it, make sure it's gonna work. And the problem with all of this is, well, not these, but all this stuff, is if I'm using these Milwaukee boxes and these rigid boxes and they change the way they're making them, then I have to make a whole new plate. So I'm only doing a few of those, as I said in some earlier videos, and then these are all being custom made to uh, my own spec and sizes. So they'll be in a metal box and you know they'll be more professional looking than in somebody else's box. But nonetheless, we still gotta go through these things here. So this is what I've been doing, has been making these plates up and whatnot. Anyways, that's what I've been doing. I wanted to show you guys this stuff, and I'm gonna put some uh, of the video in here from when I was at Jeff's shop, and the, you know, when we were making these things. These bus bars are awesome, though, for the power wall. They are incredible for uh, the Tesla batteries. And you know, now that we've got everything going and set up, we can pretty much make anything as long as it's you know a flat part or you know he's got a three axis machine and that's that's about it. But um, so we can we can make a lot of stuff, man. But I just want to share this with you guys because I know you, a lot of you guys are, are looking for ways to make things work and make things fit. You know, so that being said, if you need a special bus bar made of a certain thickness of aluminum or, um, you know, specific holes drilled just perfectly, let me know. We can make that work. You know, like th these bus bars right here, man, these are designed for the Tesla batteries um, that I've got in my power wall. And this is, you know, one's a positive, one's a negative, and they just fit together like this. And when you bolt them in, they line up perfectly. And you got plenty of clearances for the positive and the negative, and uh, they'll they'll hold all the current you're going to throw at them. So, um, anyways, I got a couple of uh, sets of these uh, just sitting there. So if somebody needs those for those Tesla batteries, let me know. And once again, if you need aluminum bus bars, you know, up to a probably a couple inches thick, we can make them. Uh, put the, the screw holes wherever you want them. Anyways. Just throwing that out there. So, man, enjoy the video. Enjoy watching all the CNC machine stuff. Um, if you've never seen these things work, they're they're just amazing at what they do and how they do it. And uh, that's what makes the world go around, man. That's how we machine parts and stuff. So, anyways, uh, hey, guys, man, I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. And I appreciate all you guys subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos and commenting on my videos. And I just gave away the prize for our 500 subs. I'm almost to 600. I got to get to 1,000, man, before the 20th of February. 
or uh, you know, YouTube has changed the rules and they're gonna take my monetization away. So anything you guys can do to help me out on that, I appreciate it. So that being said, without further ado, I am gonna be giving away this nice little Anchor USB portable power supply. It's 20,100 milliamp hours. Um, I'm not gonna open this up because it's, it's completely wrapped. I'm not gonna do a review on it. I'm just going to give it away and uh, I'll give you guys the model number on this. It was in my last video, but I'll put a screenshot of this up. And this is model number A1271. So you can look at it and I'll put a picture of it up as well. Um, but this is a great little power unit. I don't have one of these. I have used one and that's why I have this. So like, subscribe, share, and comment, man. Sorry, get this. This is a $50 USB power supply. And uh, you know, as you can see in the picture, it's it's an awesome little unit. So it's just, it compares right to that RAV power. I'm just not familiar with Anchor all that well. I've used them, but I, I don't have any of these. So you get the Anchor power supply right there. And uh, I need to get to a thousand subs, man. And I have been so slam busy that I just haven't had time to make enough videos quick enough because I've been working on all the portable, uh, so all the portable solar generators. But in my next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the new 3000 watt low frequency pure sine wave portable inverter using the new uh, batteries that I just got in. And those batteries that we're gonna be using in this setup are gonna be the Life PO, uh, the Life PO4 38120S cells. I have, blow, I have both the blue and the red series. No, I didn't get them on eBay and I didn't buy them from, um, the alarm guy I, I i import these myself these are all brand new batteries so anyways man i'm going to be making a huge uh power supply for that 3000 watt generator these parts are going to be used in it and uh these are kind of some of my templates and my stencils for that there's going to be a lot of 12 volt power there's going to be a lot of ac power coming out of that thing and remember man that runs 9000 watt surge for 20 seconds so i could just run a ridiculous amount of power out of that thing so that's going to be in my next video. And also in that next video, you want to be sure to watch that because I'm going to be giving away uh, another prize in that video. So anyways, guys, man, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, and commenting, and sharing. Stick with me, man. we got a lot of great videos coming up. I will be doing some more videos on my whole house uh, power wall, that 12KW inverter with uh, the 36,000 kilowatts of power. Um, anyways, it's all coming up, man. So just stay tuned. Check it out. Share these videos, man. Get your friends to like them. Get them to subscribe. And, man, I'll just keep putting more and more out. we got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future, guys. So, anyways, man, hang tight. We'll see you on the next one.